Today, this is Mike Oldham with Lee Smith. I do look forward to working with you on your next truck need. This is a product review on the NRR with 12-foot dump body and 2-foot cross box. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. The truck you're looking at as a gas engine, double overdrive automatic transmission, comes with the two-foot cross box with a 12-foot dump body, 48 inches tall. Electric tarp, electric dump. The Isuzu NRR is a 195 GVW truck. It features a 7,275 front axle and a 14,550 pound rear axle with a GVWR of 7,275 in the front and 13,660 on the rear. Our front springs are tapered for best ride. Our rear springs are multi-leaf springs rated at 14,550. So our body payload allowance on this truck for the GVW is right at 12,200 pounds, give or take a throw. The front cross box is 48 inches tall and two feet wide. The internal openings, 19 inches, 21 and a half, and 21 tall, rubber gasketed, and again, dual handles. The body with the electric tarp, 48 inches tall, 12 feet long, smooth lining on the outside, smooth lining on the inside. This box is a 48 inch box, 18 by 18, dual handle, T. Truck has a tow package and brake controller on the interior, pull out ramp, two very wide stirrup steps, which hold the pull out ramp, and two additional handhelds and footfalls on the back door for that last minute loading to make sure everything is tarped well. On the passenger side, we have an 18 by 18, 48 inch box. And on the front, on the passenger curb safe side, grab handle at the top with three fold out footfalls as well as grab handles. Wheelbarrows go up on top is what the intention of the barrier around the top. Pulling out the back ramp, release the back, hold down the back, walking it out, letting it rest, coming to the midpoint. Now that I've got it out, very light ramp, setting it in the latching mechanism for the ramp. We've got a fully integrated step with plenty of capacity, makes access to clean up on property to get fully into the front of the body, a breeze when you take a look at operating the pull-out ramp. The electric tarp, mounted 12 inches from the top, gives a better pivoting point for the uh, tarping operation. Inside skin, very smooth, smooth floor, and smooth exterior. This ramp has well-spliced crossbars that mate with the expanded metal, torqued down the full length to prevent any kind of snagging of your operators in the field. Safety chain in place. This layout smooth transition from the ramp onto the floor this is best for the lawn care industry maintenance industry household industry uh, for construction cleanup great angle onto the back where we have the heavy duty tow package at uh, the back and there we have the angle of approach angled the cut at the bottom supported it have the expanded metal coming all to the edge which also forms the grip for you to pull in and pull out and stepping onto the back of the body to do your clean out and of course to run your product. It's a great layout and a great setup coming from the inside out. 48 inches of height, 12 feet of length, smooth floor, a latchable ramp, zerk fittings on the hinges. The benefit I like about my system here as this latching allows you to come the full length of the body for moving your product, for what you're looking to load and unload. I want to test something out real quick. Again, with the ability to move it the full width of the body, you're able to center load in the middle, passenger side load, driver side load, to make full unloading as well as loading a breeze at the property. This in the folded up position, 
allows you to have the two footfalls and when you get to the mid part be able to load up and over the back and still make the full use of the interior one of the benefits of the body is that where you're getting close to loading out instead of wasting the back paddle down lock in place didn't even have to remove the ramp and i still have the ability to come up and down to load up driver's side then move the ramp over to load up the passenger side and then i've got full use of the back versus that wasted pocket space or maybe even wasted front space that you see on most of the trucks now we've wrapped up our day and are ready to put our ramp back inside and then lifting up slowing down slides in and there you have it take a look at the interior okay so now we're taking a look at the interior of the isuzu nrr 195 gvw crew cab the tarp control very nice small footprint of the switch your brake controller in the middle with the magnetic clip in the back is the dump body control on the interior two-man bench seating on the passenger side single-man bucket seat on the driver's side and four men in the back four different seat belts for you to have a super crew at any particular property that you're working on it is a tilt and telescopic steering column odometer check so we have your power locks your power windows am fm cd with bluetooth air conditioning all important hook for your trash bags two power points here and an additional power point on the radio the cruise control is set and resumed on the driver's side shifter as well as your headlamps if we lift up it's the flash to pass control of your rear windows on the driver's side as well as the lockout in case you have smaller occupants with you with the zuzu you can add additional switches if needed on both the driver's side passenger side of the steering column as well as the interior dash layout above head storage door storage on both sides and behind the seat storage as well and we'll go ahead and start the engine and raise that up i find with the single battery operation that comes with the isuzu we may want to go ahead and add a second battery if you choose or make sure that you run your vehicle while operating the tarp and the dump controls the purpose of that is of course to make sure that we are not stranded uh, because it is a single battery operation this is the electric motor which drives your hydraulic system and we're going to raise this up it'll be just a second and our dump body is almost up and our dump body is up let's take a look at our angularity for dumping that's definitely more than the 45 degrees needed to get soil and product out of the back onto the ground with this 12 foot 48 inch tall 96 inch wide dump body a full look at our cross box with the two areas for your wheelbarrows one more time 96 inches wide 48 inches tall two feet deep plenty of storage space two 48 inch undermount toolbox 48 inches by 18 inches by by 18 inches tall underneath the dump body this is the arm that you would raise to make sure when you're working up underneath the truck you're safe and secure uh, and reduce opportunity for an exposure to a calamity of the bed falling uh, on top of anybody up underneath it so be mindful that when you're putting the bed down after servicing this might be in the up position and you will need to lower it into the stowed position in between the frame is where we have the motor and reservoir for your hydraulic fluid powering the ph 520 dump hoist with the dump body up you can see on the understructure the encapsulation of the sliding ramp on the passenger side as to how it tucks up underneath this way you know that you have the clearance for your tires as you're loaded and running down the road and as well as the increased safety factor you get by having a pull out ramp on your truck we run the tape so you have a good idea on lengths 12 feet on the body and 48 inches tall two foot cross box interior height is 48 inches 19 and a half inch door opening 
height on the upper cabinet is. I'm opening at 22 and a half. Opening at the bottom is at 21 and a half. So 21 and a half by 19 inches wide. Interior is 24 inches wide. Structural lip angle iron on the back. This is Mike Older with Lee Smith. I do look forward to working with you on your next truck need. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com.